Good morning, my name is Jake Livingston, operations with the Alaska Incident Management Team, and I'll provide an operational update for September 12th for the Cedar East incident. Uh, our weather today is uh, cloudy, overcast. We have light precipitation. Um, a lot of smoke is moving into the area, and that'll continue throughout the day. This smoke's gonna create some visibility challenges as far as utilizing aircraft along the fire perimeter. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about our overall strategy with this incident. Um, we've had some discussions about going direct on the fire's edge versus backing off to more of an uh, indirect option. Uh, just as an example of scale, uh, in between Waldo, Waldo Lake and the, the closest uh, portion of fire to 46, it's about two and a half, three miles right now from 46, but from here over to Waldo Lake is about 10 miles of, of fire edge at least. Um, and along this whole fire edge are uh, snag hazards. So we have a lot of concerns about uh, exposing our firefighters to those snag hazards. Um, so exposure to snag hazards and then just the scale of the operation to go direct on this incident, um, we don't feel there's a high probability of success with that. Um, and we don't want to expose our firefighters to unnecessary hazards. So we uh, elected to go more of an indirect option. That's why we're doing uh, preparation along the, the road systems and you know the highway corridor using machines. Uh, there's also a lot of other incidents within this this region, uh, the Pacific Northwest is, and also as you move south into California. So there there are uh, some resource shortages as far as hand crews and other things um, and we continue to request those resources daily. Um, and then just an update on the operations for today. I'll start on the, the southern end. Southern end. I've, I've mentioned how we're starting to move personnel down to the south toward that Odell Lake area. Uh, and we have done that today and we'll continue to do that for the next couple days. Uh, we have a structure group working around Odell Lake assessing uh, the structures in that area um, and other values at risk. They're building equipment and supply lists that they need to uh, have in order to make make that successful so they're they're ordering that and that those supplies and equipment will come in over the next couple days um they're also assessing operation or options for the lava odell road and connecting to davis lake over to odell lake um, doing some work along that road system uh, with with hand crews and and not necessarily equipment yet but just mostly hand crews down there and as we head, head north uh, up to where we've been doing most of the operations in the, the previous week or so, um, we have Division Juliet. Uh, they're still prepping south uh, along the Cascade Lakes Highway corridor. They're working 100 feet on the west side of the highway, uh, clearing trees. However, they're leaving a tree every 40 feet. Uh, so it creates more of a, a shaded fuel break. So it, it's not removing every tree. It's just uh, being very selective with uh, the vegetation and debris that they're moving. Same with up in Division Papa. They're moving north up the corridor, doing the same thing as, as Juliet, but just moving in a northward direction. Uh, they've also done a lot of work around the Coltus Lake Resort and all the, some campgrounds around there. Uh, they'll do the finishing touches on that today, but all that's looking good as far as set up equipment and, and pumps and hose, that sort of thing that they've set up. Um, up into Sierra, uh, they're starting to re receive more equipment and personnel, and they'll be heading north up the 46 corridor. Um, they've also taken the, the resources that were over in IA and contingency that was working on the east side, they've taken that under their, their control. Um, all that's still going on as far as assessing this out here and then the work at Crane Prairie uh, Reservoir, the resort there. Um, but they're just working for Division Sierra. And, and those, those resources that are working in this area, uh, Crane Prairie Resort, are identified as initial attack. So if there's a, a fire that starts within the local area, they're, they're capable of responding to that as requested. And that's, that's the operational update for September 12th. Thanks.